What are the seven major sins that doom a person to hell? These seven sins were mentioned in the hadith al-mubiqat. And some thought that these are restricting the major sins. And when Ibn Abbas was asked, may Allah be pleased with him and with his father, are the major sins seven? He said they are closer to 70 rather than seven. So this is not limiting the major sins. Rather, it is highlighting seven of them, which the Prophet thought to highlight. And they are, number one, ashirku billah, associating others with Allah. Number two, as-sihr, which is witchcraft. Number three, killing a soul whom Allah has forbidden us to kill without any legitimacy. Number four, consuming orphan's wealth. So if I have my nephew who's an orphan, I'm his guardian, I'm in charge of his wealth, and I abuse this, and I consume it, and I buy cars and lavish lifestyle. This is one of the major sins. Then consuming riba, usury, which is predominantly nowadays in most transactions of banks, monetary funds, financial institutions. All of these revolve around riba, and it's a major sin. Fleeing from the battlefield. This is when you are with a Muslim army, and the army in front of you, the enemy, is less than double your size, and you call it a quit. I ain't fighting with them. I'm just running away. This is a major sin. And slandering chaste, innocent Muslim women. And this is a major sin in Islam. When you talk about a Muslim woman and she says, no, she's a prostitute. Oh, she has boyfriends. Oh, uh, she has many uh, men coming into her house and leaving late at night. This is slandering. If you fail to bring four male witnesses to testify, seeing private parts in private parts, then you should be flogged 80 lashes for slandering a Muslim woman. And this is a major sin.